Well, we are in the exhibition Living Spirit. The exhibition opened in July and it is running through the summer. Actually, it was scheduled to close next weekend on September 12th, but we are extending it for a couple of more weeks. And part of the reason is that um, it, this exhibition is really well received by a lot of tour groups that we were getting throughout the summer. As part of their program, I give them tour of all, all the exhibitions and this exhibition really stood out for them and then we focus on group of seven, which is really why they come. But this is additional thing that they're not aware of and they really take it in and they're really full of questions and one of the artists, artists in the exhibition, uh, Russ Raven, happened to be here for one of the groups and they were so delighted, they were taken by his art a lot and they actually took pictures with him in front of his art. So it was a great uh, uh, add-on experience for, for the visitors. Well, it's a great opportunity to connect with the Aboriginal people in, in their community and see how talented some of their artists are. Well, I'm, I believe uh, as, a, as an Indigenous artist myself, uh, it's a story that needs to be told and uh, there has been historically some, some uh, famous uh, Native artists and uh, Indigenous artists in, in Canada and I believe it's just a story that needs to be told in the area because we are on uh, Anishinaabek in lands here in, in, in Sault Ste. Marie. Uh, we're si surrounded by, by uh, Native reserves and uh, it's a big part of the culture in this area, so it was just a natural fit when I spoke with Jasmine, and she was, she was uh, championing this cause, and it's a great idea to have, uh, have showcase all of the great artists in, in this area. The Medicine Man, uh, yeah, it's a, it was a, a painting that uh, has been years in the, in the making. Uh, it's a, kind of a long story, but uh, as a child, we saw that, and. Uh, I finally decided that the best way to, to uh, describe it is to paint it and so people could see exactly what uh, we witnessed uh, as children and uh, I put a lot of time and effort and, uh, and spirituality into it and hopefully it uh, translates when people come, and come to view it. I have a lot of different uh, techniques and, uh, and mediums that I use. I use multi-mediums. I do acrylic, watercolor, and I, I like using materials from the land, like that one, that one over there is uh, on, on Birch Park. Birch Park, it's an acrylic on Birch Park. Uh, most of the things are something that, that has inspired me, I've seen, or, you know, that uh, it's kind of that process of creating something. The big piece here, this is from um, a Jiboy word, uh, was, a, was is, a, is a name um, of the, the rapids, where, you, where they would say water falling, it's water gathering, and then uh, that name, Nabenagujing, it's also uh, it's the name of a, you know, a family, and uh, they wanted uh, a depiction of that. It was also uh, just recording the idea and uh, the legends uh, of the place, of the area, legends of, this, of the area. Using a lot of color, a lot of, uh, you know, Mystical beings, bears, birds, you know, all that kind of stuff. So to bring it into the gallery and have it shown in the gallery was, uh, you know, um, very nice. So I hope they come down and have a look at these. These are, you know, very rarely seen and they're rarely on exhibition. And uh, they're, they'll, uh, they'll be here for, for a while.